Hi everybody. This is uh, an old song called In the Pines. Sometimes it's called Black Girl, sometimes it's called My Girl. Um, where did you sleep last night? All of the following. This is the sort of the lead belly version that uh, Nirvana covered in the 90s on their live their unplugged uh, session. And I'm gonna play it for you and then I'll break it all down. It's a very simple tune. Uh, I'll give you a really basic version and then I'll show you some of the, the licks that you can throw in. So it goes like this. It's in three, four, and it's in the key of E. It's E to A to G and B7 and E. We'll talk about those chords too. So it's like this. One, two, three. Also play an A seventh if you want, which is second fret on the D string, second fret on the B string. Now I'm playing a 12 string, so that's why it's sounding very ringy. But you can certainly do this on a six string. And a G and a B seventh. So the basic chord structure is in three four, which is one two. going from E to A. And I'm going... So what's that? That's an open E. This guy. This guy. And I'm playing it open. And I'm playing it on the second fret. And fourth fret. And then the open A. Back up so you can see both hands here. Closer. Now the timing, there's a lot of ways to play it, but here's the basic timing. One, two, three, one, two. Now, there's three different ways that I can think of probably more to play it. One is you just pick the notes out. One, two. are to hammer them, meaning you play open, hammer onto the second fret, open, hammer onto the fourth fret, only picking the note open its first time. So you really got to be good at hammering on, which is slapping your finger down on the fret, and then open A. And then the 
third way is you can slide it. Sort of hammer on to the second fret and then slide to the fourth. And then play the open A, which is the beginning of your A chord. I neglected to mention, and I should, that one of the things I'm doing all the way through is playing the root of the chord as I play it. So the E chord is the sixth. All right? And then I alternate. I play the sixth, then the fifth string, and then for the A chord, I'm playing the fifth string. And then for the G chord, I'm playing this low string. B chord, I'm playing the fifth string, and then I'm alternating and going like this. So I'm playing the fifth string on the second fret, which is part of the chord, and then I'm moving this finger over to the sixth string, second fret. do that you can kind of mute out that A string so that you don't want to have that ring. So, so far we have and I like to walk up to the B. What's that? So open A string, first fret A string, second fret A string. This is your B seventh chord. So it's Sliding up to it. Then I'll add this little hammer on on the second fret of the A string, which is part of the E chord. some upper strings. If you can do it, it's nice sounding. You hammer that. Second fret, open, open A string to second fret A string. And then when I come up, I'm grabbing the high E string. It's a lot of work. with his thumb and his fingers. He used a thumb pick, which uh, I may or may not have around here. Here we go. I think he used finger picks too, so he put a thumb pick on it, so that way he get that big bass. You decide. You can do it with or without picks. Your thumb. Okay, so one more time from the top. It goes one, two, three, E.
fun. <laughs>